Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be talking a little something. Uh, we have got something exciting that is going on in our lives. I feel like I wanted to share with you guys. So as you know, um, I like doing adventurous things, going out and riding, uh, off-roading. People that know me uh, know that I, I pretty much get into everything as far as like cars and trucks and stuff or whatever that I could really, I guess you say, relatively afford to do all the time. Uh, drifting, drift cars and stuff. I'll be getting more back more into that later on, possibly. But today, I want to share with you something that uh, the little one, you've seen her, uh, my little girl, you've seen her pop up in certain videos and different things. And if you follow me on uh, social media and whatnot, then you see her quite a bit. And, and everything and the uh, progress you know usually when we go ride we go on big trips and stuff she rides with me um, she loves it she enjoys it uh, we've been working on some things um, her driving here uh, teaching her how to drive what would be her four-wheeler and her version of the Maverick and I'll drop some of those clips here on uh, real quick of what we've been working on. Um, we picked these these guys up uh, last year and the year before, and she's taken a liking to them in like the past four or five months and has started to learn how to drive. So now we're progressing into something else, but real quick, I'll drop those clips of her driving around and you guys can watch that and check out, see what I see. Stop. Green, put it in drive. Green. Come forward. This way. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel this way. This way. What? Go this way. Go this way. To your right. Go this way. Turn the wheel this way. Come on. There you go. Go. Put it in reverse. Back up. Reverse. Stop. Put it in reverse. All the way down. Reverse. Back up. All right. Now drive. Go. And... Stop. Put it in green. Green. Pull it down, put it in green. Reverse, pull it all the way down. Back up. Hit the pedal, back up. Okay. Stop. Put, stop, put it in green. Go. That way. Good job, BB. High five.
then it kind of progressed after that. So I got to riding uh, the dirt bike around, uh, honestly, just cruising and stuff, just riding around. Uh, first time being on, on one um, in a long time, if at all. So she comes up to me and wants to ride, which is normal when I'm doing stuff. She wants to ride with me. Now, something I've always uh, wanted to do or was to get a motorcycle with a side cart or something to take her riding. Um, I haven't done that yet. I haven't got to that part. Wasn't sure she, how she'd feel about it. So she hops onto the dirt bike and we start taking uh, laps around the house, around the track and everything. Just riding, riding, riding. And that lasted for probably about uh, roughly 30 minutes until we ran out of gas. Had to refill for gas. And then, um, I'll drop one of those clips right here. This has evolved, um, let's see, right after the 4th of July, we made a trip um, to go pick up a tube at our local uh, power, power sports store for my nephew, my godson's uh, dirt bike. So when we went in there, it kind of, I guess you say, lit a, lit a fire in her more than it was. Um, you know they've got all kinds of stuff in there motorcycles jet skis uh wave runners four wheelers dirt boxes all kinds of stuff so and she's she's all into that she knows that i'm into that so she enjoys it she likes it so we come home you know for like the next two days we got the uh the tube repaired uh shout out to pj's uh, church of speed uh here in maryville that got us hooked up got everything fixed um, anyways, for like the next two or three days, it was just go-karts and, and um, uh, dirt bikes and mini bikes and all kinds of stuff. I'll drop one of those clips right here. After that, she kept saying, I want a motorcycle, I want a motorcycle, I want a motorcycle. So it's normal for a kid, you know, they experience something, they're always like, you know, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. And you gotta pick and choose of something of what they, they actually want. So a couple days pass by and um, someone donates something to her. Uh, donates 
basically this right here. So she got herself her own motorcycle. So I don't know if that's a kid manifesting and it just happened, but this is a 2004 uh, PW50, 49cc, uh, you know, 50cc a little motorcycle. So we proved that whenever we got it, that it did run uh, on starter fluid. So we put a little in it, got it to crank over. We're like, okay, good. So then we worked on it a little bit. Um, me and short bus shoddy, Dustin, we worked on it a little bit. We got it running, but it wasn't running the best. So we took the carb off of it a couple times. Um, I'll drop the clip of where we got it running. We got it running, you know, it was picking it up. Uh, and I'll, I'll put a couple clips in of us riding it around. It wasn't the best, but I'll get into that. Hop on up there. Get up there. It's your bike. You hop on it. You don't want to ride it? You don't want to ride it? Yeah? Get on there. Let's ride it. Climb on up. What do you think about it? You want to go wing wing? Say it. Say wing wing. Climb up there. Let me see you sit up there. Hop on it. Show me how you ride a motorcycle. Wing, wing. Are you excited to ride it? Yeah. High five. So something that we had going on um, is the carburetor here uh, was pretty gummed up. I've taken it apart and um, cleaned it about three times now, cleaned the jets and stuff out. Had a lot of gunk in it. Um, did notice that the, the choke inside of the carburetor was gummed up really bad. It was actually seized. I got it out. Uh, oiled it up real good, cleaned uh, where it goes at in the carburetor, cleaned that up, and that the throttle needle and everything. The cables kind of wore out. Um, <clears throat> so I got all that, all the throttle stuff out, uh, cleaned all the junk out of it again. Of course, put fresh fuel, fuel in it from the get-go, um, start pushing all this stuff out. Um, but put it back together, it started running pretty good. We noticed that the air box doesn't have an air filter in it, so it's getting a lot of air. And during the process of getting it running, I somehow broke this. Now I've looked at a manual, a service manual or, or some, some different um, layouts, drawings and stuff of all the parts, schematics and everything. And it's showing that there is part of the kickstart mechanism, the starter and stuff, is on the casing on the other side. So I have yet to crack that one open. But I am able to start it with a drill on this side, get it up, get it running. Um, but also, I want to get the spark plug replaced and replace the plug and the coil pack. I'm sure it still works, sure it's still good, but um, all brand new stuff on that. And the carburetor the air box i'm going to replace that i'm going to replace the cables for the choke and the cables for the throttle now i've also got to pull the casing off and see what's going on in the kickstart side but thus far um, that's the mechanical things that i want to get now to get her up and going and running um i've got i'm going to put a training wheel set on here 
Um, she's never experienced a bicycle riding on her own uh, without training wheels. So I'm going to get a training wheel set to put on here and um, start off with that and go from there and see how that works. Um, there's a there's a little box on the other side. I can't I can't see it with the plastics on. Maybe no, you won't be able to. There's a little box. There's like a little vacuum line that comes from there. It's dry rotted. I got to replace it too and put it on here. I'm not sure what that does. When you twist the throttle, you can see like a bolt turn in and out, in and out. I'll uh, when I start doing the uh, tear down and stuff again on this, I'll uh, I'll video it. Um, I've not been able to find what it is on any part schematics. I know uh, maybe it's part of a governor or a safety or something. Um, I don't know. I want to figure out what it is, if it's useful, if it's useless, you know, get rid of it. If there's one way that I can control the throttle uh, just by the throttle screw, um, <clears throat> I'll go with that and I'll eliminate that box if it's possible. Um, so, yeah. So, I have started a Amazon wish list. It will be the first link down in the description of all the things that uh, she needs for this bike, uh, including the exhaust, the uh, ending muffler, the silencer, or whatever is missing. This is a two stroke, so it needs that extra back pressure. So I'm gonna order one of those, put those on there. But all these little things, uh, I put together an Amazon wish list. Now, I was gonna use that for, you know, like family and friends and stuff that want to, um, you know, give her gifts and stuff like that. But actually, I'm going to put that open up to the public. So like if there's, uh, if you're interested, if you want to see this continue to grow, you'll build videos or whatever, feel free to check that out and visit it. Um, if you've got any suggestions and stuff, I'll be adding to it. Uh, I'll be picking pieces off of there, you know, stuff that uh, needs to be ordered. I'll be ordering parts as it goes. Um, but I'd actually like to get this for her up and running and get her riding within, you know, the next week or two. Uh, get her out. And especially, you know, if fall's coming and we start going on any camping trips and stuff like that, you know, I can take this with me and she can ride it around the campground. Um, hell, I could even fit this in the back of the Maverick and we could take it up and let her ride her around on some trails. But that's foresight of the future you know if this takes off if uh, this is something she really likes but this kind of excites me you know because now I've got to figure out a way to get me you know something on two wheels to ride that we can ride together so uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys um, put that out there a um, little bit exciting I hope I hope you guys will be as excited as I am to watch this grow and um, uh, see her take advantage you know you never know in 10 15 20 years this could evolve into something pretty big so just foresight uh, looking at it you know it could be something big for her. Uh, it could not you know a few years she decided not to but at the rate of which she loves enjoying doing the things that I do um, I, I, I don't foresee it falling off so I uh, appreciate everyone that tuned in. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, a like, you know, drop us some comments, be, you know, give me some feedback and stuff. Again, the Amazon link, uh, gift link is in the description. You can check that out. Um, pretty excited about this. I know I'm not like the goofy YouTuber that's bebopping around and bouncing and stuff that's got like all the super energy that's maybe corny as hell, but this right here this is my excitement and um yeah uh, i i hope to take you guys on this journey and hope to see it progress forward but again thanks for stopping by thanks for being a supporter of the channel um see you on the next episode